when he asks you what an eating disorder is like. I try to think of the best ways to explain it. Before, during, or after a breakdown. I try to tell him that having an eating disorder is like trying to order a three-course meal that you never actually allow yourself to eat in public. And that's only after you've just spent half an hour staring at the menu, contemplating what you're going to get. You'll find yourself going back home after you feel like you've eaten too much, and you'll be swirling in a brain freeze of irrational thinking. Will he still love me if I eat this or not? I will tell him that having an eating disorder is much like owning a Tesla. The most safe, brilliant, complex piece of machinery out there, and yet you will still have no idea how to use it. Except that you can tell that when people look at you, they still want to take you for a ride. That even on your deepest days, you won't know how to feel it. That when you finally get the bravery to press on that gas pedal and feel the exhilarating rush of what it feels like to taste food again, you will find yourself begging yourself to slow down again. You'll find yourself constantly reminding yourself that you are only going off-roading for a moment, that you'll be on your track soon enough. I will tell him how taking one wrong turn can make you feel like you're going in circles for hours, or how you'll see your name in lights in the middle of the night and feel ashamed for wanting to stop for a late-night bite, but don't. You will feel like a failure even on your most successful days, because you will still be spinning your wheels over what you ate three days earlier. I will tell him that having an eating disorder feels much like being like a clown, that every meal you eat is like walking a tight rope, tight rope and you'll constantly wear tight clothes hoping no one will be able to see you juggle your fat around, that you'll clothe yourself with big clothes over those clothes that no one will see the lies you've clothed yourself in. When he asks me what it's like to having an eating disorder, and if I can explain it to him in a way that he'd understand, I would tell him that it feels much like being on a Ferris wheel that just never stops. So where would he like for me to begin? The beginning, the middle, or the end? <laughs>